Yo, what's up guys, Complies here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how we can improve your guys' audio in Apex Legends. I'm gonna give you a few settings. We're gonna go in and tweak some commands. I'm gonna show you guys a program and then a couple of window settings that you can do. Now I've been using this for probably the past week and I 100% think it's made a difference in my audio. I can hear footsteps much more clear. I can pinpoint where my enemies are a lot better. And I just think the overall audio has improved a lot for me. So I wanna share these things with you and hopefully it improves your guys' game too. But like I do in every video, I gotta share my socials real quick. So in the description below, I have a link to all my social media medias. I have Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. So if you want to see some more content, go ahead and follow those. Twitter is definitely the easiest way to get a hold of me. Also feel free to join the growing Discord where we have over 500 members now. If you guys have any questions or need help, or if you guys are looking for people to play with, join that. We have a great community growing over there. And lastly, remember to follow my Twitch to see me stream Apex. All the links will be in the description below. So if you guys would check that out, I'd really appreciate it. And also, if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. About 12% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. This number is going up with every single video. So thank you guys so much so if you don't want to miss a video remember to hit that notification bell as well so that's it for that guys let's get straight into the video all right so the first thing that we're going to be doing is changing a couple of options in our profile that cfg and to find this all you have to do is go to your windows search bar type in saved games go to respawn apex profile and this is what you want to change right here profile.cfg so we're going to double click on our profile.cfg and open that up and yours probably won't look like this but i'm going to show you a couple of settings that you need to change real quick so all you have to do is just scroll down a little bit until we find the setting called miles occlusion now by default, I believe it's set to one. You want to change this right here, Miles Occlusion, set that to zero. Now what this does is that it lets you hear things at a much further range and objects on the map don't really drown out the footsteps as much. So say somebody's hiding behind a wall. If you had this on one, those footsteps would be just a little bit quieter to show that he's further away and hidden behind something and that wall would be blocking some of that audio. But with this setting off, you don't get that effect. So you can hear every footstep and you can position where your enemies are a lot easier. Now I'm going to be honest, this does take a a long time to get used to it first because there's just so many audio cues and footsteps that you didn't hear before so i know it's hard to get used to but just stick with it for a little bit i promise it's going to end up helping you out in the long run and the only problem that i really had with this setting was that my vertical audio was very hard to comprehend like i couldn't tell if enemies were above or below me but these next couple of settings that i'm going to show you help with that a lot so before we exit out of this i just want to show you the master volume that i play on so if you scroll down a little bit go to sound volume i play on 0.6 if you guys are playing on like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, bump that up a little bit, guys. We all know the audio is pretty bad in this game, so you want as much help as you can get. And I also have the music set to zero. I don't know if that's something, if you guys really like the music, you can keep it on, but I do feel that sometimes it can kind of drown out other sounds. So yeah, I set mine to zero just so I have no distractions whatsoever, but that's gonna be it for our profile at CFG. You wanna go up here, click save. I already have it saved, so I'm just gonna exit out of it. And before we close out of this, you wanna right click on profile at CFG, go to properties, and make sure it's set to read only. So check that, hit apply, okay, and then we're done with this part. Now the next thing we're gonna be doing is going into our auto exec. So real quick, if you guys don't have an auto exec, I'll show you how to set that up real quick. So all we need to do is go to where Apex is located. Mine's located in my C drive, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Apex Legends, CFG, and right here. Now, if you guys have never done an auto exec command or you have never entered anything in, you're not going to have this auto exec.cfg. So it's really easy. All you have to do is copy this config default and then paste it. And then we're going to double click in that, hit control A and delete everything in there and then hit save. You can close out of it. And then all you have to do now is rename this auto exec. And that's it. I already have that. So I'm just going to hit no but you guys get what you're supposed to do. So now that you guys have done that, we go into our auto exec file and this is what we're gonna enter right here. Now I know not every single one of these settings works, but I know a few of them still do. I haven't gone through and tested them individually because I'm not an audiophile. I don't know how to hear every single thing, but I will tell you that these settings have helped me a lot to hear footsteps. And the one that helped me out the most with the vertical audio is Miles Channel 2. You really wanna make sure you have that one enabled. I know that one still works for sure. And what this does is it sets your headphones to stereo. Now let's say I put in Miles Channels 8. Now what that would do is it would simulate eight speakers, which would be surround sound, but we all know surround sound is kind of bad. But if you are struggling with vertical audio, you can try that out a little bit. I noticed it made my vertical audio a little bit better, but directional and imaging was a little bit off. So like I said, mess around with that for yourself. I leave mine on too, personally. But yeah, I will leave the link to these in the description below so you can copy and paste them into your file. So that's it for that. All we do is hit save. I already have mine saved, but yeah, you hit that. Then we go back to where our auto exec was. And then we go back to where our auto exec is located. You wanna right click, properties, and hit read only. Then hit apply, okay. And real quick, we're gonna go into our Steam to make sure that we have our auto exec set up. So now that we're in Steam, you wanna right click Apex Legends, go to properties, in general, 
right here in launch options this is what we want to paste in plus exec auto exec that'll make sure that it runs those commands from that auto exec file and gives you those audio settings that we just put in you need to make sure you have this or absolutely nothing will happen your auto exec will just be invalid and you'll just be left with the plain default audio where it's pretty hard to hear footsteps and other things so we're done with steam so let's exit out of all this stuff now that's it for the game file things now i'm going to show you a program called equalizer apo and we're going to utilize the app called peace to help make it a little bit easier now this is what i use to do my sound tuning i guess you could say now what i like to do with peace is that it allows me to boost the highs and sort of drown out the lows so that it's easier to hear footsteps and it just overall sounds a little bit better so before we download peace we have to download equalizer apo so all you need to do here is hit download and i will have the links to both of these websites in the description below so all we need to do now is hit download open up the installer hit next i agree next install and then here, what we need to do is select whatever output device we use for our headphones. Now, I haven't used this on my amp deck yet, so this will actually be good. So generally, it's going to be your default device, how mine is here. So just be aware of whatever output you're using for your headphones. To find out what it is, all you have to do is click in your soundbar icon, and then it'll be listed right here. Now, mine is SPDIF interface, and that's this one right here. So I'm going to check that. Hit OK. You want to hit OK again. And you will have to reboot your computer now i've done this already so i'm just gonna hit manually reboot later but you guys should probably hit reboot now and then come back to this video and i'll see you guys after you reboot your computers all right so now that we're back we're gonna go into the next website and this is going to be the peace gui which helps us to change the settings and equalizer apo much more simpler um it just kind of simplifies everything gives you a nice clear visual of all the settings so all we need to do is hit download we're going to open up the setup so right here you want to make sure your equalizer apo is installed the mine's already installed so it'll see us installed make sure we have the current version selected and all we have to do now is hit install hit yes and now it is installed so now that we have it installed you want to double click on the piece icon to open this up now personally i like to use the full interface just so i can sort of see everything and if i want to change individual settings and tinker with a little bit more i have it right here it's easier to do and it'll bring up this window now there are a ton of different audio presets that you can use personally i like to use high boost it boosts the high ends pretty well which will allow you to hear footsteps a little bit better and overall i think most gaming headsets are generally pretty bass heavy so i think a lot of them could benefit from this and i also do have a custom one right here which what i did was i lowered all the low ends so i don't get that deep bass but i raised all of the high ends which i think has helped me a lot it makes my game sound a lot better i can hear footsteps much more clear so yeah i'll leave a link to that in the description below as well so you guys go ahead and mess around with these like i said before i would generally recommend high boost or high boost 2 or my setting you want to keep this running so you hit minimize the system tray and it'll be right down here so whenever you guys need to click anything just click that once it'll come right back up when you're done just hit to tray and that's all you do for that now real quick i'll be going through one more audio setting i don't know if this makes a huge difference but i've seen a lot of people talking about it on reddit when it comes to apex legends so i'm going to show you guys this real quick all we need to do is right click on our sound icon open sound settings scroll down a little bit go to sound control panel and then once again we're going to find our default device or whatever device you guys use for your output to your headphones you want to right click it properties supported formats and then you want to uncheck dolby digital and just make sure dts audio is the only one selected then we click okay and that's it for that so that's actually it guys now please let me know down in the comments below if this helped you i've been using it for probably the past week and i know it's helped me tremendously now, like i said in the beginning of the video it is pretty hard to get used to so just stick with it for a few days and then if you guys would let me know in the comments below if this helped you and if it does help please remember to leave a like comment and subscribe i also have multiple social medias that you can follow those will be linked in the description below and i also stream on twitch just about every single day playing apex legends so if you guys want to stop by hang out say hi whatever you want to do the link to that will be in the description below as well but that's going to be it for me guys i hope you guys enjoy the video and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great new year peace